Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Sebastiani, and I'd like to thank you for joining me for this week's tasting. Uh, this week we have something very, very special to share with you. Uh, two vintages of our Ocidiana, which is our absolute best flagship, uh, most beautiful red wine that we make here at Bianca. The significance of the Ocidiana is the obsidian arrowhead you can see on a label right here uh, that was found on the property here at Vianza uh, while we were building the villa. Um, and we decided to commemorate our flagship wine uh, and give it an Italian name for Obsidian Ossidiana as a tribute to the natural resources of Sonoma Valley and the surrounding wine regions. Obsidian itself is a product of volcanic soil and uh, is really where the minerals and the, the terroir, the flavors from the soil itself kind of get solidified and condensed into this piece of beautiful volcanic rock that uh, the local Indians, the Miwoks, then turned into arrowheads uh, for hunting reasons. But that piece of volcanic glass is usually indicative of very high quality soil um, and is, is rare and sought after. So we decided to uh, name our, our very best wine after that. Without further ado, we have the 2012 and 2014 Vianza Ossidiana to share with you. Um, these two wines are something I pulled out of our Enoteca, which we'll go visit in a little bit. I wanna share with you some of the other fun wines we have in there. We have aged these wines uh, perfectly for the last uh, six to eight years. Uh, they are the culmination of the terroir of Sonoma Valley of our winemaking expertise and our commitment to the craft of winemaking. They are both uh, best of vintage. They're, we don't make Ossidiana every year. Uh, we only make the best years that we can. So the last one we made was 2014, and then before that, 2012. Um, and we have various vintages dating all the way back to uh, 1992. And uh, they're all beautiful and they all age very well. Both of these here, the 12 and the 14, will age well into 2030 and beyond uh, if stored properly. And they will maintain their structure, their character, and their vigor as very beautiful wines. So um, let's taste. The first one we're gonna try here is the 2012 Ossidiana. Um, both of these are Bordeaux style blends, but they're both different. So this is why I've curated a wine tasting pack that has these two wines in it so you can taste and compare uh, the difference in a 2012 versus a 2014 and compare the differences in a Bordeaux blend that uh, in the example of the 2012 is mostly Cabernet Sauvignon uh, and Petit Bordeaux. So Two classic wines that we're getting off the very best vineyards in Sonoma Valley, um, very best vintages for these vineyards, curated to highlight uh, the climate and the growing conditions of the year. My wine is just absolutely stunning. The first thing I get off this wine is something that I find in very well-aged wines, which is subtle fruit tones in the nose, but not too much, not too overwhelming, balanced out nicely with a little bit of bricky, um, a little bit of red dirt, a little soil flavor to it. Some nice black pepper, some nice cinnamon off of this wine. Mm. And the tannic structure of this wine is perfect. It leads in very, very subtly. It builds and then it finishes very smooth for a nice, long, lingering, uh, flavorful finish on this. This wine is going to pair best with your big, bold meals, uh, typically red meat. Um, anything on the grill that's got a lot of flavor needs a big wine to stand up to it. This is going to be your go-to for that. And just lovely. And it lingers after you taste it. So that's the 2012. Uh, moving on to 2014. Uh, 
Uh, this wine's interesting because 2014 we had an earthquake in the area which uh, sent winemaking into a uh, bit of a tizzy for the time. Uh, the earthquake was centered in Carneros, which is the reason, region that Vianza is located in. Um, but we were still able to make this wine and make it very, very well. It was a longer growing season, so we got smaller berries on the vines, which made the fruit, uh, made the flavor concentrate, um, made the vines struggle a little bit, uh, which tends to produce higher concentrations of the terroir, of, of the flavors and the richness of the soil and the sun and the climate, which is really what we're getting here. On the nose, I get blackberries, I get a little spice, a little currant. and a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon, and just lovely. Just fabulous. Dark chocolate covered cherries, um, nice balance with some, some wet stone, uh, a little bit of brickiness to it. Uh, full flavor, full body, just very rich, uh, very comforting, delicious wine. Mm. This being another Bordeaux blend is 39% uh, Merlot and 35% Cab Sauve, 15% uh, Petit Verdot, 10% Cab Franc, and 1% Malbec. So that's a very uh, reliable blend of wines that the French had developed over many, many years and uh, brought together uh, from the very best vineyards in Sonoma Valley to make the 2014 Ocidiana. Uh, really just makes an absolutely stunning wine. Mm. Good to the last drop. The tannic structure on this wine is slightly different than the 2012. Um, this one Instead of leading in smooth and peaking and then coming down soft like the 2012 does, this one for me just comes in smooth and stays pretty steady all the way through. So it's an interesting comparison to the 2012. Uh, part of that has to do with its age. The edges haven't fallen off that tannic experience, um, but it's, they're both absolutely lovely uh, when it comes to that, the mouthfeel. Uh, another fun comparison of these wines is the color in glass. I don't know if you can see it very well here, but uh, if you put these together and you look at them, the 2012 being here, the 2014 being here, the 2012 is a little bit more bricky. It's got a little bit more dark red tones to it. Um, and that happens with, as wine ages. It doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be better or worse. Um, you just see a slightly different color there. The 2014 being a little bit more inky, you get some more uh, purple tones and a little bit more bright red to it. Uh, indicative of a slightly younger wine than its uh, comparison there. Uh, both are very, very interesting. Both are different from each other, uh, but absolutely stunning wines. We truly enjoy sharing this with uh, our guests and um, our wine club members. Speak of wine club members and um, the experience that we offer here at Vianza, I want to take this video over to our Enoteca, which is our wine library. This is the place where we store the very best of the Vianza wines. We have a lot of our old labels, our old vintages in there, um, and some really magical things to share. Um, and if you're watching this, I think you appreciate good wine. Um, and you appreciate uh, the feeling that you get when you drink amazing wine, when you drink wine with history and wine with a story. Uh, and so to help, uh, pass the time, help uh, improve our experiences. I've decided to open up our wine library, um, offering it to our club members, of course. We have some very limited selections of some of the old classic wines that my parents made back in the day with the original Vianza labels, with the frescoes from inside the tasting room, uh, and just some of the beautiful art that was uh, part of the Vianza story. So uh, if You'll bear with me, we'll walk over there and take this, uh, take this tasting to the Enoteca. As part of the enjoyment of food and wine and staying home and trying to make the best of things, we decided to open up the Enoteca. 
So this is a very special room uh, that mom and dad built back in the very early 90s. Uh, this is a great place for dinners. It's a great place for gathering. Um, it's a great place for enjoying some of our very high-end wines, uh, some of our very special uh, Enoteca library wines here. So uh, we've got all our wines here around the outside on the racks. I have pulled out a few special selections to share with you. These wines are gonna be available for sale to our club members uh, in the quantities that we have left. But these wines are very, very limited. And as, as you can see here, uh, these are the last of them and there's still very, very few left. So we have the Samueli, which is a Barbera um, that is namesake after my great grandfather. Um, we've got the Sam Sebastiani 1984 Cabernet. Uh, that was one that dad made, uh, absolutely beautiful wine. Th these wines should still be aged quite nicely. They've been stored in here in a perfect climate and perfect condition. We have the 2001 La Nebbia, that's the Nebbiolo that mom and dad made. Um, absolutely fabulous wine as well. And then the 1996 Reserve Vianza Cabernet. As you can see, these labels feature artwork that was up inside of the tasting room back uh, when Vianza was founded. So some very beautiful labels there too. Uh, we also have our 2011 Sonoma Valley Primitivo, a very cool Italian varietal. Uh, it's from Duan's Ranch, which is up valley from here. Warmer climate, it's gonna make a very rich, beautiful wine. Uh, and then we have a uh, Cab Franc here from Sonoma Valley 2012. That wine's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. All of these are still in great shape. I've tasted through these wines. Uh, they still have a lot of the body left. So those are the Enoteca library wines. We've got a special program opening those up to our club members. You can come pick them up with our curbside program um, or we can ship them to our club members uh, exclusively. But those wines are here until they're gone and there are very few of them left. So in closing, I'd like to thank everybody for joining me for this interactive and fun tasting of our very special uh, very limited Ossidiana wines. I hope everybody has a very safe uh, week, has a very relaxing time at home, um, shelters safely. Uh, here's to everybody's friends, everybody's family. Um, I hope Vianza Wines can bring you a little bit of joy, uh, improve your time spent at home, and uh, brighten, your, brighten your day. So until the next time we meet, uh, thank you for joining me again. Uh, I hope to share these wines with you now and forever. So have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll be seeing you again soon. Thank you.